<laughs> okay. So, as always, welcome back to another session of the Relaxing Fertility Yoga, sponsored by the Fertility Partnership. So, my name is Julie, and as always, my, my invitation to you is to really spend this time being kind to yourself. Um, you know, uh, we were talking a little bit before I started recording about how this is um, kind of a challenging day in the world, let alone in our in our personal lives. And so I think in this session, um, let's just spend quite a bit of time dropping into the breath, dropping into the body, um, just again, being very gentle with ourselves. And again, that invitation, please, is always there just to be really compassionate with yourself. And sometimes it's almost easier to think of ourselves like we would think of our best friend or a loved one. Like we have to almost <laughs> come out of that, that narration of not being good enough or, um, you know, whatever the narration might be, um, because usually we're much crueler to ourselves than we ever would be to other people. So uh, maybe to see if you can practice speaking to yourself in this next hour, the way that you would speak to a best friend or the way that you would speak to a dear loved one or the way that they would want you to be spoken to. And it's just, it's just a practice to play with. Um, just really reminding yourself that you do deserve to be nourished and supported and that that really does begin within. So we'll start, as always, with the centering and breathing. I'm just going to put some music on and this is actually frequency-based music um, that is based on the idea of sound healing. So as I was mentioning earlier, <laughs> what this means is because um, we're recording on Zoom, I have to turn the background audio filter on low uh, to get the music to play clearly. Um, so that might mean that you do hear my dogs or my cats or just whatever might be going on in my house <laughs> a little better. So um, if you do get distracted at any point by um, the furries, See if you can just let it all be part of this moment, part of what's allowing us to be here together now. So start to make your way um, down onto your back and you can either come down with your knees bent and the soles of the feet on the floor that's easier if you have lower back sensitivities. Or you can extend your legs all the way out, just letting them flop and splay, just if that feels good to you. Please feel free to use a cushion or a blanket or just anything else that will help you feel more comfortable. Once you have made your way down, just take a few rolls of the shoulders. So you're going to inhale, roll the shoulders up, and exhale them down and back. Relax your shoulders down. Relax your hands either facing up or down. Close your eyes. And take a few deep inhales through the nose with exhales sighing or blowing the air out of the mouth. Just do 
that as many times as you need. Inhaling calm, exhaling, sighing out, letting go of any stress or any tension. become aware of any sounds, either external sounds from here or external sounds on your end. Try to just let it all be vibration. check in with your mind and just notice the quality of your mind this evening how open or closed it is how busy or quiet Notice if there are any thoughts on loop or on repeat. And check in with your heart. And notice how you're feeling this evening. And notice whether allow for it or if you typically resist it. And see if you can just find that allowance for whatever you're feeling, noticing it without judging it. However, I also read a quote recently about mindfulness that suggested that mindfulness isn't only an awareness and a, an acceptance, but that it's also a balance. So mindfulness is also about not overly identifying with our thoughts and feelings. And so it's just this interesting practice and there's no right or wrong way of doing it. There's no need to scold yourself or put any shoulds on this. Just see if you can start to explore those boundaries, those edges between allowing and identifying. Notice this ecosystem between your body, your breath, your feelings, your mind, and how they impact each other. So 
when we get stressed, one of the things that we often do is we breathe in a more shallow way. We breathe up into the chest. The irony of this is that when we're stressed, what we really physiologically need is to breathe down into the belly. So this practice that we do here is basically the union of the body, the breath, the mind, the feelings, because of course it is an ecosystem. So when we're feeling stress, maybe our shoulders go up, our breath gets short, and whether that's a feeling or a thought that causes it, um, likewise, when we start to physiologically stress out, we might actually be more likely to, to have anxious thoughts. So just with that in mind, and I think the dogs thankfully are going into the other room now. <laughs> um, so with that in mind, let's take the awareness to the breath. and start to deepen the breath through the nose. So we're going to inhale through the nose and take the breath down into the belly so that the belly rises with the inhale. And then exhale out the nose and feel the belly fall. breath further, inhale through the nose, fill up, belly, ribs, chest, expanding all the way up through the inhale, exhale out the nose, chest, ribs, and belly contract. So you might remember from other weeks that this three-part breath is known as a dirga breath. So just that gentle inhale, filling up, expanding belly, ribs, chest, and the exhale contraction. That is one of our basic forms of pranayama or yogic breathing. So you can stay with that if that serves you, or you might try coming into an ujjayi or an ocean wave sounding breath, which is a deeply calming breath. And the way that we can create that breath is if you imagine that you were going to fog a mirror, say you had a handheld mirror and you just put it out in front of your mouth and you wanted to fog it and you would exhale <sighs> without sticking the tongue out. I just stuck my tongue out, I don't know why. So, <sighs> so you'd fog the mirror that way. And if you were going to reverse that fog, <sighs> and it almost sounds like being scared, and that really tickles the throat if you do it with the mouth open. However, doing that same thing through the nose. So we end up with that. So it's like this beautiful ocean wave. That is um, a really great way of starting to also bring some calm into the body. If you're newer to this, just remember that whatever you practice, you get better at. So if you're just starting to practice this for the first time, it might not feel too natural yet. Um, but if you, again, if you practice, it's something that can come a little easily as time goes on. So. Just do what serves you, whether you want to practice this ocean wave sounding breath or stick with that quieter dirga breath.
take about five or so more rounds of deep breath here. And see if you can make a mini meditation out of it. So you're just anchoring your mind to the breath, following that breath, just noticing inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. distracted by other thoughts as you're breathing as soon as you notice just return to your breath and again just simply follow that deep inhale and exhale to mentally ready yourself for movement. Just in your own time and in your own way, start to draw some movement back into your body. So just let yourself stretch, yawn, sigh, just do whatever would feel good to you. And then from here, let's just gradually come up to seated. So just start to make your way up to seated. And when you come up to seated, cross your legs. I'll move my mug of tea. Take it with me. <laughs> it's actually a really horrible, bitter, medicinal tea. Um, so when you, when you come up to seated, um, you can either sit just on the floor with your legs crossed or, um, if you find that one of two things happens, if you find that your knees go up or you find that your back starts to round, 
sit up onto something. So that could be a couch cushion, that could be a throw pillow, or a folded up blanket or towel, just something that's going to allow the sits bones to elevate. And that will make it much more comfortable for the hips or for and for the lower back. Um, of course, if you have yoga props, by all means. So if you have bolsters or blocks or meditation cushions, it's great to use those if you have them. Okay. And then once you find this seated position, just take an inhale and lift your arms up. Oh, and exhale, release. as you exhale, take your left hand down and reach your right arm across so that you're just opening up laterally, opening up through the side of the body. And then inhale, lift all the way back up through center. And exhale over to the other side. back and forth, a bit like seagrass, just blowing in the wind. So we're just opening up through the side of the body. start to bow down towards the earth in front of you and roll the hands back and towards the heart inhale lift and exhale bow of the spine. So I want you just to really start to think about um, these different areas of your spine as we're, we're moving them. So starting with the lumbar spine or your lower back, this lower region of your spine, I want you to imagine that there is a string that's just pulling that part of your, your spine forward and then it's going to start to take it around, around to the back, around to the other side, and forward. And these are not deep circles because we're actually, again, we're isolating into, into this lower region. So just play with what that might look like. And just start to really feel your lower back. So in the yoga community, we often talk about the idea that different parts of the body correspond with different emotions or how the body can, can also tell us things. And that works both on an individual level and on a cultural level. 
start to go the other way. <laughs> and so one thing, for example, that we used to see a lot is that people used to get ulcers. Ulcers were kind of this, this way that stress expressed itself in, in a certain era. We're, oops, sorry about that. Whereas, whereas now, um, what we're finding is that low back pain tends to be an area where the stress manifests more. And so that can also be caused by um, often like a sense of, in, of not being supported, whether that's in a society, in a workplace, in a relationship, in a family, in a network. And so I just really want to invite you to be open to the messages from your body. But again, it's not about overly identifying with them. It's kind of developing that awareness of, aha, um, that's, that's connected to this. So then we know where we can start to, to work on things. We're going to take the awareness higher up into the thoracic spine. So I want you to play with circling around through your middle. Just notice how it's feeling here. You might not be feeling anything. chin in towards your chest and let your elbows hang down towards the side of your head. Take an inhale and then exhale. Turn to peek under your right armpit. So just getting that stretch through the side of the neck. And inhale back through center. Exhale over to the other side. And inhale back through 
center and lift the head, lift the heart and unwind the arms. And just allow the hands to relax down. And again, this evening, I really want to just explore some subtler things, just things for the nervous system, for bringing the energy down a bit. So we're going to do that vagus nerve exercise that we've done before. So vagus is V-A-G-U-S, not as in Las Vegas, but vagus. Probably doesn't sound like there's a difference as I'm saying that. Um, and we're going to start with our measuring stick. So just kind of understanding how we're feeling in the neck and the shoulders, which we've done a little bit for so far, but maybe not that much. So just sitting up tall, close your eyes. And then very, very slowly turn your head to one side. It doesn't matter which. And just notice how it feels and <clears throat> notice how far the head turns. through center and exhale to the other side and again just notice how it feels how far the head turns where the points of tension are Now, we're going to come down onto the back again. I'm going to move the tea because knowing myself, it will end up all over the floor. <laughs> so we're going to come down onto the back again. And then interlace the fingers behind the head. Now, let your knees bend, soles of the feet on the floor. And we're going to come into an exercise here that can feel very, very silly, especially if you're not used to it. And it can also feel uncomfortable if you're not used to it. Because like anything, the body starts to adapt and once you use the muscles in a certain way, um, it becomes familiar with that. So. This is an eye movement exercise. And in the same way that if you just suddenly went out for a run tomorrow and you haven't been running in a very long time, your body would probably say to you, ah, this is a bit uncomfortable, but that's okay. Discomfort is fine. It's pain that's not fine, um, but discomfort's really okay. So if you do find this a little uncomfortable, know that it's normal and know that your eyes are not going to get stuck like this like they, they might have told you when you were a kid. We're not crossing them either, but. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do here is imagine that there is a puppet string from the nose up to the ceiling and it's very taut and we're not going to turn the head side to side. We're going to leave that puppet string nice and taut up to the ceiling, keeping our face straight up. That being said, we're going to use our eyes to look elsewhere. So opening the eyes, if they're closed, just start by looking up at the ceiling. And I want you to take your eyes as far to the right as you can, but leaving your head at center. And breathe, nice deep breaths. And you're welcome to blink. And if you feel like yawning or sighing or swallowing or just anything like that, allow it to naturally happen. And those are all considered vasovagal responses or responses of your nervous system. So this is an exercise to really help break up stress in the nervous system.
couple more breaths here. And then take your eyes back to center. Allow for any responses. Again, let yourself sigh, yawn. <sighs> I've definitely been stressed today, and unsurprisingly, my nervous system is letting me know, which is a beautiful thing that we have these type of simple exercises that act as circuit breakers. now to the left as far as you can and just hold that gaze there again you can blink and allow for any natural responses back to center. And again, allow for any natural responses here. And then go ahead and remove your hands from under your head. Take a moment just to stretch. to roll back through center or sit back up through center sorry and once you come all the way back up to seated just sit up nice and tall just like you did before close your eyes and just start to turn Again, the head in one direction and notice how far it turns. Notice the tension points. And take it back through center and see the other side. two-thirds of my clients seem to really have a response to this exercise. Um, so if you find that this allowed you to turn your head further or you found that your neck was more relaxed or that your shoulders were more relaxed or that you were getting a lot of those responses during the exercise where you're yawning or sighing or swallowing, just File this away. This is something that you can do two minutes a day. You don't have to do the measuring stick each time. Um, literally all you, and you can do it seated as well. You can just sit up and you can turn your eyes. It's just making sure you're sitting up tall so you might wanna sit into a chair and then do the same to the other side, about a minute on each side. 
And once you get used to this exercise, it's the kind of thing where you'll actually start to feel when you get the release. Um, so you don't need a timer to do it. It's actually just kind of starting to feel, uh, okay, and then back through center, and then to the other side, okay, and back through center. It's just the kind of thing that you can add into your routine or just know that you can use it as a, as a stress release. So hopefully that was helpful. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, it's so much later than I thought it was already. Okay, let's take a big inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hinge forward from your hips, take your hands down and then roll over your knees. And then from here, walk yourself for a moment into a child's pose. So you're going to bring your bottom back towards your heels, your forehead down. Just let yourself sigh out. And then slowly start to roll up towards your hands, curl your toes under behind you, and walk yourself back towards a squat. And then from there, very, very slowly start to roll your body all the way up to standing. I'll just move my, my laptop there a little bit. Okay. And then once you have come all the way up to standing, bring your feet to a hip distance stance and then take an inhale, lift the arms up. Oh, and exhale. And again. And one more. And then inhale, lift all the way up. And then exhale, release your arms for a moment. So you're just coming to a neutral standing position. So this is Tadasana or mountain pose. And in a moment, we're going to do an exercise where it's great for your back and it's great for your lungs but energetically, it's also great. So when we're doing this exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to take the arms up, but then we're going to arch the back and draw the palms together. So we're just reaching up and back. It's not about how far you go. So you just go to the point that it's right for you. And then you're going to exhale and bend your knees and you're going to exhale ha and take the arms back into a ski jump. So we're going to take an inhale and we lift it up and back. And then again, we're going to exhale, bend the knees, ha. And now we're going to start to do it quickly. But as you're doing this, I really want to invite you to imagine that you're just throwing out all, I'm just gonna say it, you're just throwing out all your energetic shit, <laughs> okay? So whether that is what's going on in your personal life, um, whether that's something going on with your body, with what your mind is making of what's happening in your life, whether that's what's happening in the wider world, especially today, um, just I want you just to imagine that you're throwing all of the negative shit. <laughs> you're just throwing it all out. And and just, just imagine that you're just getting rid of it, okay? So we're just going to take a big inhale here, and then exhale, ha. Just take a moment 
And then once you're here, I want you also, again, as silly as it might seem, I want you to start to, let's start actually with individual parts and we're going to move on. So I just want you to start shaking out your hands a little bit. So shaking out the hands, shaking out the wrists, and we're going to start to get the elbows involved and the shoulders. And it looks ridiculous, <laughs> right? It feels very silly. But the idea is that we're starting to shake up and move the energy around. So you don't have to copy me the way I'm doing this. Maybe you're having some kind of drumbeat thing going. It doesn't, it doesn't have to look like anything. And then I want you to see if you can get your torso a little more involved. And then start to get your hips involved. Oh my God, I know it looks silly. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like some really awkward penguin. I don't know why. <laughs> and then <laughs> I want you to start to get your legs involved. And your head. And use your breath. And we're just going to do this a little longer. And hopefully you're home alone, or no one's in the room with you, or they love you a lot, and you don't care about being ridiculous in front of them. <sighs> okay? Just shake it out. So let yourself start to get tired. You know how sometimes, you know, when, when we might be feeling pent up with energy, if we go for a run, we start to feel better. We can also shake. It's a really effective way of starting to just shake out some of the stagnant feelings, thoughts, and energy. So let's just really go for this for 10, nine, eight, be crazy, seven, <laughs> six, Five, four, three, two, <laughs> and one. <laughs> oh, take a big inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale. Two more. And then inhale, lift all the way up. Oh, and exhale, so one day fold. Then hang the head, hang the arms. Give your head a few shakes, yes. And a few shakes, no. And again, yes, yes, yes. And no, no, no. And then just gently, you can keep a soft bend in your knees and very, very gently sway your hips side to side. You can also cradle the elbows as you sway the hips side to side and create that extra weight through the arms. through center. If you're able to, I'd like you to bend your knees and place your hands on the floor. So just bend your knees, place your hands on the floor, place your palms down. And just imagine that you're starting to scoop up some grounded, strong energy from the earth. Just connecting to this big old planet below and all around us. And then start to scoop that energy, scoop your hands up towards your legs, towards your belly as you come upright, towards your heart, towards your crown and towards your head, and then lift up to the sky. And then exhale, sink your shoulders, open your arms up. Bring your feet to a hip distance stance. Really zip up through the pelvis, through the core. We're coming into Tadasana or into mountain pose, which is a foundational standing pose in yoga. And I want you to start to take some very deep breaths here. 
as if your inhale had the ability to reach all the way down through each leg to your heels and all the way out through your arms and through the tips of your fingers and as if the exhale could start to sweep any um, any tension any again stagnant energy imagine the exhale sweeping it out and we're going to hold this for about 10 breaths and holding this pose for 10 breaths you'll start to really feel your arms be there with that feeling and take those deep breaths keep it going nice deep breaths relax your shoulders, relax your hands. Sometimes you might feel a little magnetism. If you do, it's totally normal and just allow for it. And then close your eyes and take a moment to just appreciate your feet standing on this ground. Your heart pumping blood through your body. The fact that you are here now. And I'd like you to just take a moment to remind yourself Your strength for the fact that you are here now, that you have survived every illness and every injury thus far, so that you are standing here right now. And just remind yourself that not everyone gets this long, not everyone gets today. Take a moment to consider all of the love in your heart that you would like to give. And just set the intention to spend these days ahead freely giving that love to yourself as well as to those around you. that look like? What does the week, the weekend ahead look like? If all of that love and light in your body and your heart, if 
it circulates within you and outward. so much for coming this evening. I know that this is a pretty different type of session tonight. It just was where the energy took it. Um, if you want more movement, you can always go back onto the YouTube playlist and find one of the old ones and, and also do that. Um, but I hope that you have um, a really good weekend ahead and um, that you spend just a lot of time being being kind to yourself. So um, yeah, I'm just going to stop the recording. <laughs>